All right, check it out. So, over the last month or so, probably a little bit longer, I've been seeing ads on Facebook and Instagram for this certain trimmer. Uh, it's been bragged about that this thing is awesome for doing designs, uh, getting real close, doing skin fades, uh, but really mostly for designs. Uh, the initial market price was like 50 bucks, which honestly, still not bad for uh, a tool that could potentially uh, be really awesome to add to your uh, tool collection and your, uh, your kit. So I did some research. Uh, the other day, I went on Alibaba, which is, if you don't know, it's a lot similar to, it's very similar to like DHgate um, and AliExpress. It's stuff from China, yada, yada, yada. Um, so I looked up these trimmers. This one right here. You may notice it, you may recognize it. Well, you probably notice it because I'm showing it to you, but you may recognize it. You can get these from China for like five bucks. If you buy enough of them, you can get them for five bucks. I think the threshold is like maybe five or 10. So if you buy like five or 10 at a time, you get them pretty cheap. Now, I didn't want to buy that many because if they were shit, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. So I actually found one on eBay, brand new, for I think I paid 20 bucks for it. So it was right in the middle. I didn't pay 50, wasn't paying 10. So basically what I'm gonna do, I have actually two clients today I'm gonna, I, I have two clients today that I'm gonna cut and I'm gonna try this out. Uh, I'm gonna show you pictures uh, when it's done and uh, I'm gonna give you my honest feedback about this trimmer. To be honest, it has a really good weight to it. It feels good. Uh, not to mention it's skeletoned out so you don't have to do any extra work to cut around it or anything. It's got the perfect setup for doing designs, I would say. Uh, the blade is a little bit wide, so if you're doing small intricate designs, you may find yourself, you may find that it gets in the way, um, unlike something like this, which has a little bit of a smaller uh, blade to it. But I'm gonna use it on my clients today. Uh, one of them's getting a skin fade, one is not. So uh, either way, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you guys my honest feedback and let you know how these are. Other than that, for 20 something bucks, if it ends up being shit, so be it. All right, <clears throat> so I'm back. I use these trimmers. I have to say, for 20 bucks that I paid for these, I'm actually really impressed. Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, I, I, at this point, I would have even paid 50 bucks for them and consider these a, a good pair of trimmers. Now, I will say this. I only did them on two, I only used them on two haircuts. So, maybe we'll give it like a solid couple weeks of using them, uh, wear and tear, charging the battery, all that fun stuff, and really give them a solid, solid review. But what I will say is, what I saw today, um, these things, they come zero gapped already, perfectly. Um, not off at all, so they're perfectly zero gapped. So they, they're not grabbing the skin or anything, but they get so close that they're, I mean, these are perfect for when you're doing skin fades. Like I said, I did one skin fade today, and then I did, a, uh, actually did a light skin, uh, uh, a light skin fade today, or I'm sorry, a low skin fade today. Um, and so these were really good with getting through the hair. Um, and the most important thing is getting that bottom line out. Uh, a lot of people have trouble getting that bottom line out, um, including myself. That's one of the, the hardest things about a skin fade is getting that bottom line out. Um, using two different methods, I was able to get it out with this and with no trouble at all. And I was really, really surprised with it. Um, the feel of it, let's talk about the feel of it. It, it actually feels like a really well-made product. Uh, it's a, I wanna say this is a metal body um, it's got a cool little like Buddha design. You, they actually come in a few different different uh, designs, but uh, I chose this one. This one's a really cool um, look. So yeah, it's got a good feel. It's already skeletoned out. So when it comes to doing designs, it's going to be a lot easier for you. Um, and it, the one that I got. So I don't know if they come in different kits or anything, but the one that I got. Let me see if I can get this out of here. Um, I originally thought that it came with a regular charging cable, almost like your your regular clippers uh, come with. But they don't. They actually, um, the bottom right here twists off and comes out. And then what you have is a battery like this that slides it inside uh, of it. 
it comes with an extra battery, which is huge when you're in the shop. If you're a barber, uh, you know that running out uh, a battery when you're in the middle of a cut kind of sucks, especially if you're new like me and don't necessarily have a bunch of extra tools that are already charged up. So it comes with another battery, and it has this nice little um, charger that the battery fits into. You've got a regular USB cable, and then the battery just slides right in like that and charges. So it's really cool to have that extra battery on the side. Um, and then I think last but not least what I'll talk about is you know the way this body the way the body of this is because it's a it's rounded a lot of people like the <clears throat> like the babyliss uh, clippers and, and uh, trimmers and stuff because of that round body it has a completely different feel um, I'm used to the Andes and the walls which I personally like a lot better I am assuming there's no issue or no problem with the babyliss it's just not my uh, preference right now probably because I'm a broke barber and can't afford them yet but I'll get there. <clears throat> but I did notice this was a little bit harder to get used to the uh, the body style of it. But I adapted really quick and really actually enjoy it. It's really easy um, for doing edge ups, especially for doing the C cup. Uh, this these work really good at. So pleasantly surprised. Uh, button not on the side uh, with these ones. Um, and the reason I even bring that up is because the um, Andy's uh, slim line um, has the button right on the front that you just you know flick up. This one actually has a push button, kind of like a soft uh, rubber pad button on the. Uh, come on now, get in there. On the uh, on the bottom here, which you know is pretty neat. It's out of the way. You're not going to hit it. Accidentally turn them off. Overall, I give these probably I don't know probably like a nine out of ten. I don't even know what the extra point would be, but um, these are. These are damn near close to perfect. I just don't want to give the extra star yet, or the extra point rather, because I've only used them for two haircuts. So maybe I'll make another video and update you guys on that. Other than that, check out the pictures. Um, yeah, check out the, the pictures uh, from the haircut. Let me know if you like them, uh, if you have any comments or anything. I'm going to try to post a little bit more videos coming up. And uh, yeah, I have a special announcement for you guys on the next video. So don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, and if you have any comments, put them below. Thank you guys. We'll see you later. I'm going to go eat some pizza. Yerd.